Hey, what up? This is dirty. Um, someone asked me, um, told me to throw this in some bleach to make it nice and white. Actually, I was gonna clean it up, so um, I was gonna throw it in some bleach, but then uh, I thought maybe I should look it up. Maybe there's actually a video on YouTube about it. Um, I didn't look very long back. All I could find was the the damn anime bleach. So uh, I guess I'll make a little one. Um, I just looked it up online, so what we're, what we're actually going to use is hydrogen peroxide. <clears throat> if you can get 6% from like, uh, if you know someone at a beauty salon or something, you can get that. But this is just a uh, 3%. Should be fine. So first, if, if, if your skull isn't, um, if there's no, if there's still meat on it and stuff, you're going to have to clean all that off. So first, say if you know, say if it was a live animal, you just killed it, skin it, cut all the meat off of it as much as you can, um, but try to watch out all the bones. You know, you don't want to cut into them. Then you're gonna want to remove all the flesh. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Um, number one is a, uh, it's called cold water mastication. So that's pretty much just rotting it in cold water. Um, you can do like cooking it, you know, like boiling it. Boiling it though, you're gonna want to watch out because it, you know, it bubbles it up and uh, some fragile skulls might get broken. Also, you can do like a bug box and you stick, um, you know, certain kinds of bugs that eat away flesh. It said something. I don't remember the exact term of the animal, but or the insect, because it said um, maggots don't work because it takes too long or something like that. So it was a different kind of beetle or something. Anyways, luckily mine is pretty much eaten out already. Everything's pretty good. I mean, I don't see any brains in there either. Also, if you got to get the brains out, what you do is you make like a little wire, like a little loop. You stick it in there and you stir it around. A little bit of water in there might help getting it out. Um, you're going to want to get as much brain matter as you can. If there's still brain in there, when you, um, I'm, I think when you, um, like uh, try cleaning it out and stuff, it might expand and crack the skull. So <clears throat> you're gonna want to try to get all of it out if possible. And plus, it'll cut down on the smell too if you're gonna be leaving it. So uh, I'm gonna throw this in some hydrogen peroxide. Supposedly, this is my first time doing this, so I'm kind of just you know showing you what I'm gonna do. Mm, so check it out, I guess. Supposedly, when it stops bubbling, that's when you want to take it out. I kind of want to leave some color on it, you know, make it look kind of cool. Um, but I definitely want to take some of the staining out, so we'll see how we'll see how it works. Oh, sorry. Uh, so one more note: if it does still have the brain, uh, something I was reading about is the brain. I guess holds a lot of diseases and stuff. So you're gonna want to make sure you wear gloves and stuff like that when you're doing this. If there's still brain inside, especially. Something like it carries a lot of rab you can get rabies and shit like that from it. So, um, yeah, just be careful. Wear gloves, you know. Okay, that's it. All right, here we go again. Three percent hydrogen peroxide. All right, so there we go. Probably actually should have started this earlier. It's kind of getting dark, but uh, don't forget, the skull's probably gonna have some air in it. So, uh, you're gonna have to do something about that. But, you can see it's kind of bubbling a little bit. I'm gonna leave it for a while, supposedly until it stops bubbling. And that should be around when you wanna take it out. Uh, the reason you don't wanna use bleach, it's gonna deteriorate the bone material and then uh, might break apart and stuff. I'm sure if you did it only for a certain amount of time, it'd be okay. But um, I guess it's safer to use this. And yeah, I'm gonna try it. Like I said, we'll see how it turns out. Again, this skull was looks like it was pretty old, so there was already all kinds of staining on it and stuff, so we'll see if it comes out. So, anyways, we'll check in later. Alright. So I soaked the skull in um, the 3% hydrogen peroxide. I soaked mine for about probably a day like a whole day, you know, 24 hours. You might have to soak it less or more, it depends, because mine was out in the woods for a while, I think, so. You see how it has this, like, weird brown stuff? It's like permanent staining. But I kind of want to leave it. I didn't want to bleach it too white, 
but I wanted to make it kind of white and you know take any crap that was in it you know kind of disinfect it I guess so now that I have it all dried out and everything so I let so I soaked it for a day and I dried it for a day and now what I'm gonna do is like clear coat it to preserve it so uh, what I read was to use clear lacquer I'm using semi gloss because I couldn't decide to get gloss or matte so just go right in between so the site that I'll, I'll, try, I'll post the site on the bottom where I got all this information from and then um, they said to do half lacquer and half lacquer thinner okay but the can says do not thin per EPA regulations so uh, I'm gonna solve the problem for you guys and see what you know if if thinning it is better or what so I thinned it because that's what the university guy said so I'm just gonna you can dip it if you want but I don't want to buy that much so I'm just gonna paint it all on so let's put this over start painting this thing so we'll check back uh, after I coat near everything and let it dry for a little while okay all right here we are with the finished product looks pretty nice it kind of soaked all the way into the bone kind of gives it like almost like a wet look kind of um, again I didn't use bleach because it said it was going to deteriorate the bone material and I kind of like how it looks a little dirty and stuff you know it looks more rustic almost or something I don't know natural whatever but at least this way with the hydrogen peroxide it's nice and clean I don't gotta worry about anything being in here and stuff uh, if you can see that um, that semi gloss came out really nice I like it it's uh, you know kind of glossy you kind of see a sheen on it but it's not so glossy that it looks almost fake so it's pretty cool um, and uh, like I said, I think the thinner is so that it soaks into the bone nicely and gives it a, you know. When I was painting it on, it almost looked like you could see it soaking into the bone. So I think that's why you put the thinner in it. So if you want to chance it and just try just, you know, straight thinner and not thinning it out like the, like on the can, it says not to thin it. But I don't know. They said it in instructions for, from the university to thin it out. So I tried it out. Worked out pretty good. So, there you go. Um, again, if you need to, glue the teeth in if you don't want them falling out. Um, mine got filled up with lacquer pretty good, so I think they're going to stay in, you know, decently. I'm not too worried about them falling out. If, I don't really care. They kind of were stuck in there a little bit too, so it's pretty good. So, yeah, there you go. How to bleach a skull. Again, the bleach, you don't want to use it because it will ruin the bone material. You could, though. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure you could. It's gonna look really, really white though, and, and some people don't like that. But again, hope this helped. If you're gonna be bleaching a skull, like I said, I used three percent hydrogen peroxide, soaked it for a day, then I rinsed it with water, air dried it for another 24 hours, and then coated it with a mix of 50% clear lacquer, 50% lacquer thinner. Just coated the whole thing nicely, poured a little bit in the skull cavity and the nasal cavity, stuff like that. Try to coat the whole thing. And yeah, it came out pretty nice. And there's no smell besides, you know, it's still got a little bit of that lacquer um, coming off of it. So other than that, it doesn't stink or anything. None of this dirt is coming off. So pretty cool. So I hope that helps somebody out there. If you have any tips, if you're watching this and you have some tips, uh, you know, stuff that you've discovered while you've done this or something, uh, you know, leave it in the comments. Help somebody else out. Um, again, I'm not I'm not a pro at this. So I just like to try all kinds of crap, and hopefully, if there was any mistakes, you could learn from them. And hopefully, some other people leave some helpful comments too. But anyways, this is dirty. Shoots. <laughs>